And in the 50s, 60s, 70s, you meet, I mean, everybody was here at the pool, like Mick Jagger or Sting or very well-known actress and fashion people. What was the story here behind this pool? The Little Paradise was uh, created by my parents in the early 50s. And they were staying next door to the Hotel du Cap, and I think they were walking around and they saw this piece of land that they bought in, I don't know, 52 or 53. I started taking pictures perhaps when I was uh, seven years old. I had a little brownie camera. And then when I was about 10 years old, uh, my father gave me his first Leica. And then from then on, I had all the, all the M's. And I had also a Leica CL, which I liked, was a small Leica, which I took a lot of pictures with. Every morning, I wake up, I said, I should take, I'm still interested by taking pictures every day of my life. One reason why I take a lot of pictures is I'm dyslexic, and my handwriting is atrocious. So it was a reason to document my life, because if I write it, I can't read what I write. So I, I have an obsession with colors, but bizarrely enough, 99% of my photographs are in black and white. Tell us more about the story behind this limo land. This little guy here was called Mr. Limo. We have a collection of contemporary African art. And there was an artist uh, that's called Lilanga, uh, who sadly passed away. But in one of his uh, paintings, there was a guy, there was this little man. So I, I cut it out and I bought the rights from him and the family to use it on whatever I want to use it. So then I came to the Leica factory, and at that visit I had a, a jacket, and on the back of the jacket uh, I had this, my little logo here, of Mr. Limo, and we came up with the idea of putting it on your new fabulous uh, camera here, and this uh, will be premiered uh, at Colette on October 19th, and then in uh, in November, I think, 9th, at your shop in Los Angeles. It's a limited edition, so it will be very rare. I invented the self, and I can prove it. There's a little book that will come out uh, in early October, and I can show the first selfie I ever did was in 1973 with uh, Faye Dunaway when I was at Harvard. So I, I've been taking selfies uh, all my life. And I always find selfies uh, much more interesting than getting an autograph from a star, mm -hmm. because a, a, the autograph could be fake. So a selfie really proves that uh, that you were there. So we're going to have a show in November at the Leica Gallery in uh, in Los Angeles of all these, uh, you know, pictures that I took over the years uh, around the, around the pool. But the, the the like this is Michael Douglas here. But the interesting thing about this book is that 100% of the book was just taken in, in, a, in a place that's smaller than a tennis court. So I've been taking pictures for the, you know, I take a lot of it, like this, like um, Bono and his wife, she's pregnant. But the, the, the entire book is taken just around, like if you would take a picture, like in a book you do just in a restaurant, just in one limited space. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs>